April snowfall covered some areas of Beijing. Recently, under the influence of cold air, the temperature in Beijing has dropped dramatically. It has rained in the city, and snow has fallen in Lingshan and other places in the west of Beijing. And quite a lot of it fell, in some areas more than 20 centimeters. Literally a few years ago in Beijing, the temperature was already 27 degrees Celsius. Many local residents were surprised by this snowfall. Social networks are full of photos and videos of these events, but not everyone was happy with such weather conditions. Many roads were blocked for traffic, traffic jams formed. According to weather forecasts, it will rain again in the evening in Beijing, and from Friday the temperature will slowly rise. Uruguay was covered by a hurricane wind that covered several municipalities at once. Forecasters issued an orange warning of strong winds yesterday. The municipality of Rincón de las Sosas was one of the victims of the storm. Videos posted by local residents on the internet show the fury of a strong wind. One of the videos is especially shocking, as its author managed to accurately capture the moment when the wind destroyed the roof of the barn like a toy. The element was rampant in the capital of Uruguay, bringing chaos on the streets there too. At the airport, a ban was temporarily imposed on the departure and landing of aircraft, the wind practically did not allow it to be done. Traffic was severely hampered by fallen trees and downed power lines. Authorities said four people received moderate injuries. A similar situation was observed in Argentina. On the night of April 28, a hurricane-force wind hit the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires, which in gusts reached 33 meters per second. The storm that hit the city left behind fallen trees and power lines, damaged cars, and roofs torn off houses. Not only that, heavy rainfall occurred in some areas. During the violence of the elements, 70 millimeters fell. Conducting a damage assessment in the city today, authorities said the hurricane force winds knocked down 122 trees, some of which fell on both cars and houses, damaging them. 20 roofs were torn off the houses of local residents. Many streets remain blocked to traffic. The authorities carried out the evacuation of 25 residents who were currently without their homes. severe flooding, which was caused by the River Zari, affected thousands of people in the settlements of the state of Amapa in northern Brazil. The water level in the Zari River has risen after heavy rains that have taken place in the region over the past few weeks. Amapa state authorities reported that the water level in the river reached 3 meters, which is the highest level for the entire year. According to officials, Localities in the municipalities of Laranjal do Jari and Vitoria do Jari have been suffering from flooding since mid-April. As of today, the media is reporting 16,000 casualties in Laranjal do Jari and 8,000 in Vitoria do Jari. More than 220 families have been forced to leave their homes, according to the federal government. The strongest sandstorm hit Saudi Arabia once again this month. Giant clouds of sand and dust covered the sky. Visibility dropped to tens of meters. The bulk of this storm hit the city of Hale in northern Saudi Arabia. The authorities have advised citizens to avoid open places and also walk on the streets due to bad weather in the next few days. This is especially true for those who suffer from respiratory diseases. And if there is such a need to go out, you should protect yourself with masks and respirators. In places, poor visibility greatly complicated the movement of vehicles along the streets of the city. The dust density was such that for two hours it became almost dark in the city. The situation for the next two days is not particularly improving. A strong wind is blowing, gusts of which reach 25 meters per second. Residents of the city of Mikatara in the state of Western Australia in Australia, 
became eyewitnesses of a rare dust devil for this area, which occurred around noon. Interestingly, this tornado was not preceded by a storm, and there were no warnings about a tornado. Eyewitnesses of the incident say that they noticed the approach of a funnel of dust, which later grew to such a tornado. There were no consequences from its passage, it was located far from the houses of local residents. On the eve of Bashkiria, a strong wind blew up, which managed to damage the infrastructure. A stormy wind tore off the roof from the ocean pool in the village of Barayevo. The total roof area of the building is 1200 square meters. Fortunately, there were no people in the pool at the time of the incident. There were no injured or dead. In some areas, the wind, gusts of which amounted to 28 meters per second, also managed to cause trouble, knocking down trees and tearing the cladding from buildings. A storm cyclone hit Sakhalin. This cyclone came from the northeastern regions of China, passed through Primori, where it was marked by rains, in some places by strong gusty winds. Stormy weather has been in the Sakhalin region for the second day already. In the northern and central regions of Sakhalin, heavy snowfalls and blizzards, wind gusts reach hurricane force of 35 meters per second. The temperature at night is down to minus 5. In the daytime it is plus 8 degrees, ice phenomena are possible. There is practically zero visibility on roads and in settlements. The wind of such force blows away cars. In some villages, people have to dig out meter-long snowdrifts. Residents of 11 districts of the Sakhalin region felt the impact of the disaster. Heavy snowstorm, gale force winds and, as a result, swept yards, poor visibility and ice on the roads. A huge amount of Kaplan or, as the locals also call it, Uyak, washed up on the shore of Sakhalin. Another big, wave, of Kaplan approached the southwestern coast of Sakhalin. Recall that local residents are allowed to fish without restrictions. However, only a hand net can be used for this. Earlier, local residents in the Tomarinsky district found a heap of Kaplan on the shore, which was allegedly caught by poachers. According to eyewitnesses, when fish protection officers appeared, the poachers fled in all directions. The ownerless fish began to rot, attracting birds with its smell during the evening. People came to the beach who collected uyak for their animals and as fertilizer for the garden. The sea now and then throws a huge amount of fish onto the coastline, literally filling the sand with it. A few days ago, a strong tornado hit Hungary. Footage of these terrible events appeared on social networks. This event took place during the day near the Hungarian city of Miskovec. Houses in the village of Onod suffered from the violence of the elements. The first videos were received from this area, which recorded damage to the roofs of houses and uprooted trees. According to the latest expert analysis, there was no tornado in the area but a phenomenon called gustnado. This is a whirlwind that occurs on the front lines and can also cause damage, but is not associated with storm cells. Gustnado uses vertical vorticity, which is created by horizontal wind shear along the front. Today I first encountered such a weather phenomenon. It turns out that it happens. Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Good wind and weather.